right, all right, I'll check it out finally. This shit better be fucking good. Okay, I keep hearing about this cool bear lever. Um, I guess I'll give it a shot. What the fu- Okay, you can stop asking now. Today we're taking a look at two different levers from two different continents with one style of lever, being a Korean lever. A lot of you guys have hit me up to look at either of these levers because you don't want to dive in the pool that is buyer's remorse. There's not any way around it to say that these two are the most expensive ones on the market. One being the Cool Bear lever hailing from the UK. This is a Fujin, very influential style version, but you can customize the parts that comes with it that separates it from the Fujin. For mine, I went with an 8mm shaft and a 15mm actuator. And then you have the Notorious Gold Lever, which mine is silver, but we'll get to that when the time comes. Now the Golden Lever I have is actually a full color version. I know there's plenty of other options, but I was just curious about how the full color felt. The Golden Lever I have also comes with an 8mm shaft, but has a 16mm actuator. But the way the whole bottom end is actually put together is unlike any other lever, actually this time. Not just saying it, just to say it. Even even though these two levers come from two different continents, they do share one similar thing, oddly enough, which is why I'm not comparing them to my box of levers or my my drawer my drawer of levers. Whatever, you saw it. But with that in mind, in terms of design choices, they both take two different routes that separate them from each other, making them their own individual designs, which is pretty interesting. What are those design choices? I guess we'll find out. Now, due to the fact that the golden lever is quite a different lever, I will only be covering the unique traits rather than the common ones. The body is made out of acetal. Acetal? Acetone? Whatever, it houses the internals feeling just as dense as the Cool Bear lever or the Sandrux V5. However, the finish isn't nearly as clean as mine does have some imperfections. Looking a little more inside, you will notice the cutouts for nuts that sit inside the body to hold the switches in place. This can be a pain in the ass sometimes since when you're trying to screw your switch back into place, the nut could turn sideways and may wedge itself in the body enough where you're going to have to take it entirely apart. Pain in the ass, but it actually serves a purpose. Switch spacing is something I don't really talk about as it's usually just a fixed position of the switches from one another, but the golden lever is the only only one that can change the spacing of the switches. You can change the switch spacing by using these spacers ranging from 15 to 17 millimeters with about 0.5 millimeter increments with two extra ones. To set your spacing is pretty jank, but it's pretty straightforward. First, you loosen your switches, pick a spacer, then fix the spacer between the switches and then clamp your switches back down. The spacers key into the mounting screws, which are unusually long, which kind of adds to the jank, but it works. This also means anytime if you remove your switches, you will have to set the spacing again. So keep that in mind. With the switch spacers, in short, the smaller the spacing, the shorter the distance to activate a switch, the larger the spacing, the longer the distance to activate a switch. In other words, instead of chasing the actuator size, you're bringing the switches closer or farther away from the actuator. Now let's start from the top and make our way down. Dang bath top that feels good in the hand? Check. Big ass brushed aluminum dust washer? 150 fucking dollars. Check. Custom stainless steel shaft with 8 millimeter stamping? Double check. Custom core with a silicone inner ring for more stabilization? Check. This is going to be something that's going to be turning on or turning off players, as it greatly reduces the spin of the bath top since you're always rubbing the silicone ring. The bottom of the core is convex for the following parts to be installed, like the spring, bushing, spherical bearing, that actually acts as the actuator, and here we go with writing scripts late again. <laughs> bushing ring, and of course, the C-clip. And finally, the Armron A6 switches, which I absolutely hated. The A6s are about 100 grams too much force required for me, and I felt like the actuation point may be too deep for me as well. So I just swapped to my usual Gersling A3s. The Golden Lever takes some interesting turns to find a personality of its own. May not be for everyone, but those searching for that golden ticket to customization, this might be it, if you're willing to settle for the inconvenience, of course. Stick around because I'm gonna do a thing later. But before I reveal what that is, let's talk about the Cool Bear Lever. Since the Cool Bear doesn't go to the lengths of the Golden Lever, we will start from the Bat Top and make our way down. Bat Top is dank, a little wider than the Golden Lever, might be my new favorite. Custom stainless steel option, 
No stamping, zero out of 10. Another fake ass metal dust. Wait, holy shit, this thing's actually metal. 35A with basically a stock Mion Shin core and then the body. Oh yes, the body. The body is solid AF with no imperfections on the Delrin body. Then we get the stainless steel cool bear switch plate that makes my Fujin plate look like a sun dried cheese it. On both of my Fujins, I've stripped maybe one or more threads and broke the polycarb screws due to frequent modding, but this cool bear lever will hold up to a lot more abuse. Next are the boring Gersung A3s, followed by your choice of actuator, being a 14 and a half, 15 and 15 and a half millimeter options, making things a little bit more personal. With all these parts combined, pretty much makes it a medium tension lever overall, but this isn't even its final form. You know right before you leave your ex and they tell you, I'm not like those other blanks. Tell them this bear, unlike them, is actually different from the rest. At first, I was a little worried about the collar and the pictures getting bent out of shape, but the high quality body eliminated my doubts. In most cases with short collar levers, you usually get a shorter throw, but with the Cool Bear short collar version, you actually get more throw. Actually, you get the same throw as a Fujin, at least with my 8mm shaft. While with its full collar form, actually has the same throw as a stock Fanta. I don't feel like I really need to dive in this too much, but obviously you won't be needing a 35mm hole in your fight stick to actually use this lever. Of course, if you have one, then you have the options of switching between the two. Not only do you have a premium Fanta lever in general that may rival the Fujin mod, but a full collar and short collar version to accompany whichever shaft or actuator option you choose from. The Cool Bear lever may not have as many options as the Golden lever, but it trades for the extensive options for a straightforward, solid build. So when people are looking at Korean levers, they usually like, oh wow, a Korean lever doesn't have fucking corners because it's a circular guy, gate, shit. You know, th that's only half true. If you look inside the body, it's actually a truncated circle, which has very faint corners, which there is corners. If you look at the Cool Bear or the Golden Lever, these are the only fancy style levers that actually have a circle gate with a circular collar and a circle inside of the body itself. This means any circular motion, like quarter circles, double quarter circles, whatever it is that involves a circular motion, is obviously gonna be a lot smoother. The downside? It's a fucking circle. This means if you're somebody that hits forward and pulls down to find a corner, or if you're somebody that rides the collar to find the corner, it's obviously gonna need some time to be able to find those corners with muscle memory. I'm glad to say it's not impossible as playing on both of these levers, I was able to find the corners pretty easily, but if you're not used to trying to find them just by the feel of them, you might have some growing pains. Woo! Since these are basically Fanta levers with circles in them, I will be comparing them to each other and being pretty straightforward. With my current setup, the Cool Bear's diagonals felt more narrow in comparison to my Golden Levers, especially during up forwards for some reason. During movement in general, the Golden Lever felt like it was a bit smoother and also had a marginal amount more tension compared to its UK counterpart, though at least the bat top spin makes it more obvious when you're on the Golden Lever. But with that in mind, I felt a lot more consistent on the Cool Bear lever for whatever reason. It may be due to the slider compact feeling throughout the lever's movement in comparison to the Golden Lever, maybe due to the circular opening on the Golden Lever's body, where the Cool Bear is a little bit smaller. Coincidentally, since both of these have 8mm shafts, they both replicate a stock Fanta throw, other than the Cool Bears with the short collar version gaining a bit more throw. With throws like these, wobbles you see something of a concern for some players, where the Golden Lever actually has one of the most controlled wobbles I've seen. Whether you'll be able to tell the difference, who knows. Gameplay wise, my 1P Weiwus have never been this clean on any lever. I also never miss as many electrics, down forward twos, or dragon punches more on any other lever than these two. Wave. There's not really an excuse. I just suck. I don't know why you guys listen to me. Though I did get used to this, I would ride the collar till I would get a diagonal input and kind of lock in the muscle memory to hit the corner. And over time, it worked. But when you're considering the stock forms that I actually received them in, I would choose the golden bear. I finally said the fucking gummy bear thing. I would definitely choose the cool bear lever stock over the golden lever any day of the week. Both levers feel fantastic, but whether or not you'll be able to tell the difference from these in a base model Fanta will only come to fruition in the hands of the beholder. When you get to a price point like this, the 
lever itself isn't the only reason why you or me would be interested, as it would come down to the supporting features that should make the price feel valid. A great example of this is the Paradise Arcade Magenta, where it uses the JLF's foundation, then puts a unique spin on customization. But the downside is, what you buy is what you get. Though the materials used aren't exactly the same as these, but we'll ignore that for now. Unlike the Magenta, Blenderbus, or ASI provide parts for their own levers and can be compatible with other Korean levers, which also goes the other way, where other Korean parts can be compatible with the Cool Bear or the Golden Lever, which is great for people who don't have the money for the premium stuff. I feel like an extra actuator, shaft, bat top, or something should be included to at least make the price feel a bit more bearable. Figure I should mention that I paid for both of these because I'm not famous enough to get them for free, but you know, whatever. Let's move on. I noticed the levers that I appreciate the most are the ones that I don't have to change much, since I don't have to make it suit me when it's already suitable. And this Cool Bear lever in its stock form suits me. The collar design, chef's kiss. Great way to separate yourself from the other levers already out there and gives you two options in one. Because, um, you got a little proving to do with a price like that. With the solid materials chosen for the Cool Bear, similar to the V5, when you hit the collar, you do get a nice thunk. Satisfying, but sometimes you want to keep that banging on the DL. Not to mention that dust washer is going to be piercing your ears when it's going against the shaft. Dust washer. Shut up. Side by side with the Fujin mod, it just looks like a Fujin mod with a circle guide. It's kind of hard to get away from. The Fujin mod, in my opinion, does feel a little bit tighter compared to the Cool Bear, but in order for you to use the Fujin mod at all, you need to have a stock Fujin in hand to swap the parts into, where the Cool Bear's instance, you have it all in one lever. The switch plate influence is obviously there, but on the Cool Bear, it's done a lot better. But I feel like this was a missed opportunity where you could have used different switch spacing. That way you can buy separate ones or send different ones with whatever levers and then then you have a little bit more options when it comes to switch spacing. It doesn't try to overextend its bound too much where current Fanta players won't start off in another world and then crown players will be able to have a Fanta option when it comes to a circle gate other than just the 301. What, did you think this was something new? So if you're looking to get the Cool Bear lever, expect to have a premium full collar Fanta lever while at the same time having a premium Alpha series lever as well. If you're looking for a premium full collar and short collar Fanta experience with some flexibility at checkout to make it a little bit more personal, then this bear will be too cool for school. Who the fuck wrote, who wrote that joke? Hold on to your butts, it's gonna get real, but I don't think I have much to say other than the golden lever is one functional as big. With the options of changing actuation to this degree is unmatched on across any lever. Did you tell me if you could find one? Just tell me. Okay, seriously? Though the out of box experience isn't exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to a lever as it's a low tension, high actuation force, which is the opposite of a fancy style lever. It's not only what I'm not used to, but it's just something I don't prefer or didn't know I didn't prefer until I found I didn't prefer it. You following me? With all these wonderful things considered, it leaves me with one word on my mind, conflicted. I guess it's time to address the elephant in the room, why I went with the silver version rather than the gold version. Joystick enthusiasts, Korean lever enthusiasts, arcade enthusiasts, beware of what I'm going to show you because what I'm gonna show you now is going to be very graphic, but it must be done. The golden shafts have not only been bending, but breaking, eating into cores, corroding, wearing, and even punkoing. I don't know what that is yet, but you'll find out. I'm no fucking scientist here, but the golden shafts are actually made out of brass, and using an arcade scenario ends up like this. The reason why it took me so long to really take a look at the golden lever or even really consider it is because I knew I was gonna have a small explosion that would come prematurely, like finding too good of a clip for my nightcap. With that said, I hope the steel versions take over the whole brass thing, because I really hope they do away with those, because it's gonna affect the end user experience the more people that get a hold of these brass shafts. I know it's not gonna happen to everybody, but it is something to consider because you might be one of those people that have to deal with those unfortunate events. Though there has been some revisions paying this much, I didn't want to find out for myself. And then you have to deal with things like not knowing what size the spacers are. You have to go to the Golden Lever website, then you have to scatter around to find it. It doesn't have its own space or category, so you have to find it and go through each one. You find it, and then you find out there are two of them aren't even marked on the picture that's provided. 150 fucking dollars. And then you have the installation of the Golden Lever that isn't exactly the same as, you know, the usual Korean lever. Funny enough, there's no instructions on the inside, and I I do know there are some people out there that installed it wrong. And then this whole process just adds more to the inconvenience that is just trying to mod the gold lever in its entirety. Simply put, you paid $150 and you can't even put like a really small instruction manual on how to put your own lever together. Funny enough, ASI started including manuals with the golden levers a few days after I recorded that portion of the video. 
Why does this keep happening to me? ASI now includes a guide or a manual that shows you how to set up your switch spacing, what your recommended switch spacing, and how to avoid bending your switches using undersized switch spacing with a bigger actuator. Just pretty much the things that you would assume you should know when you're putting a lever together that's 150 fucking dollars. Of course, it shows you how to put the shaft assembly together properly and gives you examples of mistaken ways that other people that have and common ones you'd probably see the most often. But I'm just surprised it took this long. Now, I absolutely understand the appeal of the golden lever. It's a phantom lever that's modular unlike any other out there. While using parts that are provided by the people who make it, on the soundtracks, you can't go to a 17 millimeter switch spacing just because you feel like it. So if you're somebody that wants a lever that could probably use as one lever and use it as like a lab rat to test out different setups until they find that one perfect setup, yes, you're gonna have to pay a premium and you might have to buy some separate parts in order to get the most out of it. But I think a few revisions in, this lever can size up to be a pretty good one. One thing I do wanna say, if you're somebody who's gonna keep this thing stock and not really mess with it, I would say go somewhere else. So I do feel like the Sanjax lever steals on top in terms of quality, which speaking of so, this is the V5C, which is gonna be very similar to the V6 that's gonna be on ISD, which I'm looking at right now. Stop asking me how to fucking get one. This time it has a full collar, a squircle collar, and a regular collar, but you have to undo the mounting plate and then take it out, put the insert back in, and then put the mounting plate back down. Obviously not as smooth as the Cool Bears version, but you have the option nonetheless. And since I forgot to mention it now, because I know I'm gonna get the questions later. So you got it now, uh, you better not. So yeah, for me personally, I don't think I would really buy either of these levers because they just have a lot of aspects that I wouldn't use. I wouldn't really care for using a full collar to short collar lever because I would just use a short collar lever or a full collar lever, not really switching between the two all the time. And then when it comes to the golden lever, it just has so many options you can go with that I just wouldn't utilize. I just like to mod my levers a little bit to make it enough personal for me instead of trying to follow down this pipeline of finding out the perfect setup for me. However, on the gold lever, you can't really replicate its capabilities. However, on the cool bear, you can buy an alpha body with a Myungshin collar or a Fujin collar, I don't remember which one, and then you can have pretty much the same thing. Like I said, the features themselves are gonna be what'll make the price feel valid. Even though you can buy the knee lever, the Fujin, and a basic Myungshin that are compatible with each other to an extent might be an option. And about three hundred dollars in levers later this video is done we will see you guys in the next video try all these expensive levers and see if the cost of these levers will be able to make you a better player or i forgot my outro <laughs> you could try something new and be a scrub like me peace out until next time do i even need to say it do i even need to stay safe you shit I don't have the fucking screwdriver for this. It's so fucking, so weird that it's so, oh man, you guys see that? Oh, god damn, it's as if it just popped right off. Yeah.